Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with Tales of Arise game on your computer. Now the first step is to close the game and then restart Steam. So if the game is running, go ahead and close the game and then go to the Steam and then click on exit and then restart Steam and that should go ahead and fix the problem. Now still you are facing the problem, in that case you can go ahead and opt out of the Steam beta. For this, go to Steam on the top here you can see steam click on it and then click on settings and then go to account and here you can see beta participation now click on change and go ahead and click on this down arrow and select none opt out of all beta programs then click on ok then restart steam and after you restart steam try to connect the controller and you should not receive you should not face any problem now the next step is to enable steam input for this again go to steam then go to library make a right click on the game and then go to properties now go to controller and click on this down arrow and select enable steam input and then try to launch the game and then connect your controller now in case if you are using multiple steam library folder then in that case go to settings so click on steam and then click on settings now go to downloads and then click on steam library folder and then click on add library folder in case if you have multiple folder if the game is installed in a different folder click on add a library folder and then go to that particular drive where the game is installed and then scroll down and select steam library and then click on select and here you will have the drive connect uh, listed over here then close this and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game and connect your controller now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and launch the game and then go to tales of arise game settings so first of all launch the game click on play now press the escape key on the keyboard to go to settings now click on system then click on settings and scroll down now over here you can see steam controller settings so click on it and now in my case the controller is not connected so so you can go ahead and click on steam controller settings and when you click on steam controller settings it will open steam input tab and then you have to go ahead and go to the option which says browse configs and now go ahead and click on show other controller types and then you have to go ahead and accept the warning and then you have to go ahead and select the option which says official controller config and then you have to go ahead and apply the configuration by clicking apply and then that should go ahead and help you to get the controller working it's still not working then restart the game and that should go ahead and fix the problem now the next step is to configure your controller in big picture mode so go to steam on the top right here you can see big picture mode icon click on it and this will launch picture mode now click on settings click on this gear icon and then go to controller settings and from here you can go ahead and configure your controller so if you have ps4 controller you can go ahead and select ps playstation configure configuration support if you have xbox controller go ahead and select xbox if you have generic go ahead and select generic so you can go ahead and select your controller from here now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and move the game to steam default installation folder so wherever the steam is installed you can go ahead and install the game to the to the same drive and then try to connect your controller and the next step is to disconnect and reconnect the controller so if that is not working you can go ahead and unplug your controller and then connect it once again and if you have any kind of external devices connected to the computer so if you have any additional joystick or any kind of uh, gamepad controller any additional controller anything is connected go ahead and disconnect it and then try to connect your controller so one of the steps should definitely help you to get your controller working so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel